Hello everyone, it's me Bun Bun, and today I will be going over the history of Chuck E. Cheese in Burbank, California. This store is a bit interesting in my opinion, as it is one of the last Studio C's in the world. Anyways, let's get into the video. This location opened at 930 North San Fernando Boulevard as a discovery zone. There are not many photos of the store and only one of the exterior that I know of. I'm also not actually sure when this store opened. I couldn't find much of Burbank around this time except for a few articles and a Facebook post which contained lots of interior photos. In late 1999, Chuck E. Cheese would purchase the Burbank Discovery Zone along with 12 other locations. Burbank opened as a Chuck E. Cheese on December 22, 1999 with the Studio C and Operation Thumb Chuck, which consisted of the Thumb Chuck exterior, new decor at the time, new games slash rides, and the sky tubes. The photo shows the Chuck mascot in the Avenger outfit as well as the cheerleader Helen costume. A few more photos from an unknown date in the 2000s shows most of the store such as the stage, games, and art. Lastly, there is a photo of the road sign and also a close-up of the bot. You can see by now he is wearing his Cool Chuck attire with his cap, Cool Chuck shirt, and khaki pants. In 2005, Season 5 Episode 11 of the show Yes Dear showed the entrance, more pieces from Operation Thumbchuck, and the exteriors front and back. Over time, the exterior sign area would be repainted multiple times. A video from January 23rd, 2010 shows Burbank's Chuck Butt performing in relatively good shape. It also shows that Burbank's Butt had received Avenger attire, but he would only wear the Avenger shirt. There's also footage of the showroom and footage of the game room. In February of 2010, Burbank would receive the Cool Chuck remodel, which consisted of removing older decor for more modern decor, receiving new carpet, new games and rides, and making small changes to the exterior, such as replacing the letters on the outside of the store and the addition of a one-of-a-kind parking sign. A video uploaded in December 2010 shows the recently remodeled store, but only a small amount of footage from the stage. A photo from August 2012 shows Burbank's Avenger mascot, entrance, and prize counter. This photo also shows a poster of the Chucky e. Rocks promotion next to the entrance, which is quite interesting since this was taken in August. A video of April 2012 Segment 1 shows great footage of Burbank's animatronic, as well as the blue screen and interactive console. A showroom tour from March 26, 2013 gives great footage of the full stage and showroom as well as an overview of the interactive console. It also shows a bit of the postcards and kids posters. Two photos from 2013 revealed that Burbank had received the Rockstar costume. Strangely, the mascot is wearing Avengers shoes in both photos. In between this time and 2015, they would remove the studio letters from above the blue screen. I actually have no idea why they removed this because it wasn't like near any remodels. So, yeah, yeah. At an unknown date, Burbank would receive the Rockstar outfit. In September of 2022, programming would be disabled for Circles of Lights, every Studio C stage, and early dance floor models. As far as I know, Burbank would be aired down for most of this time. In August of 2024, Burbank would finally start to perform random movements, and the lights would be turned on on some sort of rotation or cycle. As of August, Burbank is the second most complete Studio C because it is missing the studio letters above the blue screen. The first most is Mayfield Heights, Ohio. Overall, this is a quite interesting store. Keeping the thumb chuck exterior, having a one-of-a-kind parking sign, being one of the last COCs, and also being the second most complete one makes this store stand out from others. I think if Chuck E. Cheese is up for it, I don't know, maybe you should keep this one and the exterior and maybe even add some more art. Just because the stage is great and the exterior is great. And the whole store is great. On a final note, thank you so much for 900 subscribers. I hope we can get like a thousand soon before an outrageous amount of time. Like maybe before 2025. And also all the credits will be in the description. Sorry if I miss you because I use a lot of stuff.